Hey guys, Nash here. So recently I installed Pixel 3 OS and it's an outstanding room but the battery life in this room is quite average and I wanted more battery life so I flashed a kernel. And in this video I will show you how you can do the same in this room or any other custom room. So let's get started. So this pixel room is really amazing and you can install it in many devices. I recently made a full review on that. If you want to watch that video you can check that in i button. So with this room you get pure pixel experience. You get the same OS that Pixel Phones offers in any phone. As you can see this is my Redmi Note 4 and I'm running latest Android Pie 9.0 Pixel Experience room. So this room is quite smooth and everything is great except the battery life. So I flashed a kernel called Electra Blue Kernel. Now the thing is this room already comes with Franco Kernel as its default kernel and it's a good kernel but I don't know somehow with Pixel Experience, I didn't get the battery life I wanted. So if you have installed Pixel 3 OS and if you are happy with your battery life, then you don't need to install anything because Franco kernel itself is an overclock kernel. But if you are not happy with the battery life just like me, now I will show you how you can install Electra Blue kernel on your phone. Now this kernel can be installed on any ROM. It's not ROM specific, you can install this on Pixel ROM or Lineage OS ROM or Resurrection Remix ROM doesn't matter if you are on Android Pie or Android Oreo and just to be clear to install this kernel you don't need to be rooted because every time I make a video I get bunch of comments saying do I need root no guys you don't require a root to even install a custom ROM you just require a custom recovery installed in your phone and that's it and now I will show you how to install this kernel on your phone and then I will show you the battery life I got with this kernel. So first of all download this Electra Blue kernel from link given in description box below. Once you download the kernel, transfer it to your internal storage and then switch off your phone. And now it's time to boot into recovery. Currently I'm using TWRP exclusive recovery and if you want to install this recovery, link for that also will be in description box below. So once you are in recovery, make sure you take full Android backup in case anything goes wrong. After the backup, go to install tab, locate the kernel and swipe right to flash. And then reboot. Now you have successfully installed Electra Blue kernel. After phone boots up, let me quickly show you in about section that the kernel is installed properly. So as you can see Electra Blue kernel is installed properly. So I used this kernel for almost 3 days and I constantly got more than 10 hours of screen on time. Overall performance of the phone is still smooth, there is no F4 close, no random reboot, so everything is great with good battery life. Unfortunately the charging speed is still slow but it's not a ROMs or kernels issue that's the problem in Redmi Note 4. So I hope you enjoyed the video and like if you appreciate my work. This is your friend Nan signing out and I will see you tomorrow. Ooh.